Okay, so welcome to this unboxing slash uh, tutorial of the Ultimaker 2 3D printer. So I'm just opening up the box here and we have the user manual to start with, pretty useful. Uh, we have some kind of warning um, telling us not to put any force on it. We have some flyers. We have our glass print plate, which goes above the build plate. We have a power cable and we have some silver PLA material. And we have some spare parts for the machine. Um, hopefully no maintenance in the near future. We have a Umagine card. So next I'm going to carefully remove this top bit and the printer is resting on four cardboard columns to avoid shaking, I guess. You want to handle it from the frame. Do not touch any internal parts or wires because it's a very delicate precision machine. Um, so uh, inside we have this cardboard box which has the power supply. It's a pretty big one. And we have the PLA material holder, uh, the filament guide, some glue, uh, and we have this test print object. So next you want to clip away these red plastic rings away from the rails, which the uh, nozzle moves along. So it kind of moves along like the X and Z axis, and then the build plate moves down along Y, and that's how the printing works, basically. Um, it's pretty cool. We have this SD card with some test print files. And uh, I'm just going to gently lift the build plate and we have the last remaining piece of cardboard underneath there. Just want to remove that. And we have our glass print uh, plate, which I'm going to slot into the back. But first we have to open these uh, latches at the front, these metal latches, and they're very sharp. So just be careful. Uh, I actually did cut myself more than once. So you want to slot it into the back first and then lay it down and then clip these shut and we're ready to go. So I'm just going to turn it on at the back and we get this cool uh, LED light up. Uh, we're going to run through the setup wizard now. It's basically just a matter of hitting continue, reading instructions, hitting continue. It's very simple, uh, no need to be intimidated. So I'm going to hit continue and the build plate moves upwards. So first we're going to do like a nozzle calibration. Uh, there's three screws, the left one, the right one and the one at the back. So First you want to rotate this button until the build plate is a millimeter away from the nozzle. So rotating, rotating that moves it upwards. Uh, you hit continue and it moves to the left and you want to tighten this screw until the distance between the nozzle and the plate is one millimeter. So that was too close there. Um, you do this twice, the second time around it tells you to use a sheet of paper. So I'm just moving to the right corner here. And uh, when you tighten the screw, it actually increases the distance between the nozzle and the build plate. So it's kind of counterintuitive, just something to bear in mind. And uh, yeah, you do this twice. The first time you just kind of gauge it by looking at it. And then the second time it tells you to use a sheet of paper. And when you're using the paper, you basically just want to feel a bit of resistance. Um, so you hit continue and uh, I'm going to move around to the back now. Uh, this holds the PLA material, so I'm just slotting that into place and the filament guide. You wrap the material around that as well. Uh, this is the silver PLA material. So I'm just going to feed that into the plastic tube. Uh, you give it a push and it starts getting fed through uh, very slowly. So the first time round, um, I didn't notice, but uh, it actually got stuck halfway. So um, here I'm hitting selecting the PLA material, I hit continue. And um, basically what I didn't realize is uh, I chose one of the print files from the SD card and the material hadn't even reached the nozzle yet. Uh, you'll know because the material starts literally melting, dripping out the nozzle. So here we can see like an empty print. Um, so there's a way to fix that. Um, as you can see, the material is stuck halfway there. So I went to maintenance, uh, advanced, and then I chose the move material option. And when you click that, you can then rotate the button to kind of push it through. So uh, anyway, finally got set up and this was my first uh, test print, the Tetra wire uh, file that comes with the SD card. Uh, so I was glad to see that printing and this is my first print. Uh, it was kind of underwhelming. So I chose one of my own 3D models, which I made in Cinema 4D. Uh, I just made like a quick base for it. Um, 
just to kind of keep it stuck to the ground, loaded it into Cura. And then you just basically you literally print it to the SD card. Uh, you hit print and it saves it to the SD card. Uh, you pop the SD card back into the printer and then you just literally choose print and it should be at the bottom of the list after all the default print files. So this is a time-lapse video and I chose the fast setting, which is actually the worst quality setting, but um, I just wanted to see if it was working basically. Uh, we, so I basically had some uh, overhang issues. Um, as you can see around the neck, it kind of the plastic's literally uh, drooping due to gravity because it's literally printing in midair basically. So uh, next time around, I tried the high quality setting. This object, this one on the left is high quality. Even though it's smaller, you'll notice that it has a lot more detail in it. So I was quite satisfied with that. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction, tutorial, unboxing, and uh, thanks for watching.